Welcome back. Uh, let's look at some logic functions, the AND and OR logic functions, and then we'll use that combined with an, an IF statement to make a decision. So the, the syntax of, of both the AND and the OR is the, the AND, and then logical conditions to check, or the keyword OR with logical conditions check. By logical condition, I mean something like is B11, this cell right here the, has a value of 20 in it, is B11 greater than 20? Well, that would return either a true or a false. If for the end condition, each logical that's checked, if they, if they all can uh, return the value true, so every one of them is true, then the end condition would evaluate as true. On the OR, we need just at least one of those logicals to return true for the OR to return a, a true. So let's try that out here in this cell. So either, so that's the OR condition, OR is a product of one unit sold greater than 20, and logical two, or product two units sold more than 20. Evaluates true, because one of those is true, they both aren't, but one I miss. Whereas with the, where they both have to be both, in this cell right here, that would be an AND condition, so equals AND, you know, product one unit sold, uh, more than 20, product two units sold, more than 20, and that returning a false. Okay, so the AND and OR are, are good and useful functions for evaluating some different conditions. Now, suppose what we have is a, a situation where we have for these two products, some unit prices of ten and twelve dollars, and suppose that the unit prices will get a discount of ten percent if the uh, the two products being sold both exceed their discount minimum. So we'd be looking for an and condition to be the basis of getting a discount minimum. So let's combine that in an if statement. It's equals if. And then I'm going to type AND, and now I'm going to put in that logical condition of is this greater than 20, and is this one greater than 20. Okay, so that's my logical test. That's going to evaluate true or false. If it evaluates true, then the product one unit price is going to be this value here times uh, say 1 minus the, the discount. If it doesn't evaluate as true, then the unit price is just going to be what's listed here, the, the $10. And so put uh, a right parenthesis there. And you can see there they both were not true, and so we didn't get the discount. If we were to change this one to say to 21, now the discount's available, and we can see the, the discounted price here. So that's a way of combining some, some logic and an if statement. Thanks. See you next time.